If you have any credit cards with Chase Bank, then you might be eligible for a credit limit increase while only getting a soft pull on your credit. I've gotten multiple credit limit increases in the past before, but it always resulted in a hard pull. However, nowadays, Chase is offering credit limit increases while only doing a soft pull on your credit. So if you guys have the opportunity to get a credit limit increase with Chase Bank while it only resulting in a soft pull, then I would highly recommend that you do so. Because not only will this help you get a higher credit limit, but it can actually help you obtain a higher credit credit score as well. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a few different ways that you can do this. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Sanford and you are now watching Just Money where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So for as long as I can remember, Chase Bank usually always did hard pulls for credit limit increases. But as of late February, 20 2023, Chase has been doing soft pulls. Soft pulls on your credit are better than hard pulls because they don't hurt your credit score. Hard pulls will hurt your credit score because you're accumulating something called a hard inquiry. And those hard inquiries are going to stay on your credit report for two years. You don't want too many hard inquiries on your credit profile because that can cause your credit score to go down. And not only that, but whenever you apply for something else in the future and then your credit gets looked at, too many hard inquiries on your credit profile can lead to your denial when applying for something like a new house or a new car, for example. So it's a really good thing that Chase Bank is offering soft pulls for credit limit increases nowadays. So let me start showing you how to apply for a credit limit increase on your Chase credit cards. And then later on, I'll talk about some ways how you can increase your chances of getting a credit limit increase. Okay, so there's a few ways that you can do this. One way is to go to the Chase website and then log into your account. Once you log into your account, select the credit card that you want to do the credit limit increase on, then select more and click on account services. Then scroll down a little bit and then hit request a credit limit increase. Another way that you can do this is by using the Chase mobile app and then logging into your account. Once you're logged into your account, then select the Chase credit card that you would like to do the credit limit increase on. Once you're there, click on manage account and then select request a credit limit increase. And once you do this, you'll see either one of two things. One, you'll either see pre-approved credit limit increase offers for your Chase credit cards. Or two, it will say a credit limit increase isn't available for this credit card right now. So if you see a pre-approved offer, then congratulations. But if a credit limit increase isn't available for you at this time, then there's one more thing you can do. You can send Chase Bank a secured message in regards to getting a credit limit increase. And to do this, you would go back to the homepage and then on the top right, you're gonna click on the profile and settings logo. Then you're gonna click secure message center. And then again, on the top right, click on new message. Chase will then ask how they can help you. You're gonna wanna choose the option all the way at the bottom that says, I have a question about one of my accounts. Then you're gonna wanna click account inquiry and then send Chase Bank a message. Let Chase know that you would like to request a credit limit increase and then also let them know that you've been making all your payments on time if you really have. And also mention to them how long you've had your credit card so that way they can take all that into consideration. So that way it can boost your chances on getting that credit limit increase that you're trying to get. And also just to be safe in the message that you're sending, double check and ask if it's going to be a hard pull or a soft pull on your credit. I'm pretty sure 100% it's a soft pull, but just in case Chase has changed any of the rules as of lately, then just double check and see so that way you can protect your credit. And then after, they're going to ask you a few questions in regards to employment. They're going to ask for your gross annual income and how much of a credit limit do you wish to receive and stuff of that nature. So just be sure to be truthful and then fill all of that in. Then you'll receive a message from Chase saying that they got your message and they'll get back to you within a few business days. If your request is approved, then in a few days, you will see the new credit limit on your account. If your request is denied, then you'll receive a letter within 10 business days in regards to the decision that Chase has made. But whenever you apply for a credit limit increase, I would always recommend that you apply for a credit limit increase of at least $20,000 minimum because sometimes they might just give it to you. Because if you ask for a low credit limit increase, like let's say $2,000 for example, then they'll give it to you, but you could have gotten more. And worst case scenario, if they don't give you that $20,000 credit limit increase, then the worst thing that can happen is just them countering back. Like they'll probably counter back with like a $15,000 credit limit increase instead of the 20K. So always reach for the stars, you guys, and don't play yourself. And also, if you guys are finding any of this information helpful, if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button, I would truly appreciate that because it really helps me out a lot. But another way you can request a credit limit increase is by calling the number on the back of your Chase credit card and speaking with a representative in regards to getting a credit limit increase, if you don't mind speaking on the phone. And then also, before you apply for a credit limit increase, it would definitely strengthen your chances if you have a zero 
zero balance on that credit card that you're trying to do a balance transfer on. That would definitely give you a better chance in obtaining a credit limit increase. And also a few other ways that will help strengthen your chances on getting a credit limit increase is by having a good credit score. I would aim for a 740 or above credit score before applying. And always try to keep your credit utilization ratio under 10%. So if you have a credit limit of $10,000, then don't spend more than $1,000 on that credit card. Or at least if you do, make sure to pay it back in full every month. And since we're already talking on the topic, make sure to pay your credit card bill on time every month because that's very important and very detrimental if you're trying to get a credit limit increase. And another thing that might help is having your credit card for a while. Try to have it for at least 15 months or two years before requesting a credit limit increase. And also making more money and updating your income will definitely strengthen your chances as well. Because since you're making more money nowadays, you're not as much of a risk anymore because you can actually afford to pay things back nowadays. But getting a credit limit increase is so good because it improves your overall credit profile. If you guys watch my videos, then you already know 30 percent of your overall credit score comes from your credit utilization aka amount owed so if you have a high overall credit limit then that will cause your credit utilization to go down thus triggering a credit limit increase if you guys want more information in regards to credit building then i made a full in that video not too long ago in regards to building your credit so that way you guys can fix the problems that need to be fixed and then just improve your overall credit score but as always ladies and gentlemen be responsible with your credit and those new credit limits as well it's always good to get credit limit increase or even new credit cards so that way you can be prepared for a rainy day. Just don't go too wild with it and only spend what you can afford to pay back. But that'll wrap it up for today's video, guys. I hope you guys found value in any of this information. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you or if you've done this before. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, then I truly do appreciate you guys. We are at 23,265 subscribers at the time of this recording, so I do appreciate all who watch. I do post weekly videos for those that don't know. And if you guys haven't yet already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time I ish post a new video. And again, we talk about personal business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So that's something you're into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. We talk about how to get high limits on your guys' credit cards. We talk about how to boost your personal credit, how to obtain business credit. We talk about real estate. We talk about mortgage loan products. We talk about all that. So this is your one-stop shop. And for those that don't know, I'm a licensed realtor, a real estate agent, and I'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator as well. So if you guys have any questions or concerns in regards to real estate, all my information is in the description below. But again, if you guys made it to the end of the video, I truly do appreciate you guys. I go by the name of Ish Sanford and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.